Hallelujah. Let's do it better unto the Lord. Let's do better unto the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. We humbly ask you to be on your feet. Let's rise to our feet. Let's rise to our feet. Let's rise to our feet. Please, let's humbly rise to our feet. We want to thank God this morning. We want to bless the name of the Lord this morning. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, Psalm 9, verse 1 and 2. David said, I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to you, to your name, O Most High. I want to thank God for another opportunity to be alive. It is by grace that we are alive this morning. I want to lift up our hands towards heaven and bless the name of the Lord. The Lord has been good to us. The psalmist said, I will lift up my hands towards heaven and my help come from heaven. My help is from the Lord. The Lord has been gracious unto us and he's blessed us with another day. Let's thank God for the opportunity to be alive this morning in the name of Jesus. We want to thank God. We want to bless his name for his goodness and his mercy towards us, his loving kindness. We thank God for another opportunity for his forgiveness, for his loving kindness for his protection we are alive this morning by grace it's not he that will it nor he that run it but it's god who show him mercy god has been merciful unto you he has shown you mercy he's been gracious unto you in the name of jesus just thank god just thank god just thank god for another opportunity for you to live we want to thank god for his forgiveness his protection over the past week and appreciate him for the blessing and healings that he's bestowed on us in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. He's been good to you. Be gracious. Be gracious. Be gracious. Be gracious. Be gracious. Oh God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. Only you can do this because you are the Alpha and Omega. You are the one who forgives sins and continually protects us. Yes, Lord. We welcome your spirit. We welcome your spirit. We bless your name for us to be alive this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. I want to commit every aspect of this morning's service into the hands of the Lord. Just lift up your hands towards heaven. Begin to thank God for this morning's service. Begin to thank God for this morning's service. The Holy Spirit is here. He will minister unto us. He will show us mighty things that we do not know in the name of Jesus. Miracles, signs and wonders will take place this morning. All your expectations will be met this morning in the name of Jesus. Just welcome the Holy Spirit. Before you were born, he was here. And know that this morning you come before him. He's blessing you. He's blessing you. That which you need he will give unto you in the name of Jesus. Every need will be met this morning. Every need will be met this morning. Every aspect of this service is very important and the Holy Spirit is here already. The Holy Spirit is here already. He has gone ahead of us. He has gone ahead of us and he will bless us this morning in the name of Jesus. We will experience God in a different way. We will experience God in a different way. The Holy Spirit is here in the name of Jesus. Last week, we learned about evangelism and the fact that we have to go out. Mark 16, 15 to 16, it says, and I said to them, and he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. We want to pray that the Lord will lay a burden on us to go and preach the gospel. The preaching of the gospel is for all of us. We are in the month of reach. We want to pray that God will give us the burden for the souls that are perishing. 
It is not us who will convince the persons. We will only have to speak the word and the Holy Spirit will do the conviction. Begin to lift up your hands towards heaven that God will give you the burden. That God will give you the burden. If you sit in the trotro, you have the burden to preach to the person who is next to you. As you walk on the way, anybody that you see, you have the burden to preach in the name of Jesus. Begin to lay on us the burden of God for us to preach in the name of Jesus. La brandi libo santa ya banda la ba santa ya ba la kata la ba santa ya ba la brandi libo santa ya banda la ba sabada li branda la ba saprapa li kata la ba santa ya ba that we have the burden to preach to God that we have the burden to reach out to God to the lost souls of God that they may come to the kingdom in the name of Jesus let us develop the habit of God of preaching the word to others in the name of Jesus for speaking your word for speaking your word for speaking your word day in and day out day in and day out in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and even as we go God let our ways oh God be worse from you be worse from you it is not us oh God but you'll be seen but you'll be seen let the power that follows your word fall on them fall on them oh God touch their hearts oh God soften their hearts oh God to receive from you in the name of Jesus Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name, we give you praise, we give you glory, honor, and adoration. In the name of Jesus, let's put our hands together for the Lord. Let's put our hands together for the Lord in the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter 26, verse 12 to 13, I read, Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year hundredfold and the Lord blessed him and the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great hallelujah this morning even as you sow your seed you wax great you go forward and you become very great hallelujah put your hands together put your hands together put your hands together we want to declare this morning that as we sow our seed this morning, the doors will be open unto us. Every door that is closed will be open unto us. And we will experience uncommon favor in the name of Jesus. Begin to lift up your hands towards heaven and begin to pray that even as you sow your seed, even as you worship, even as you give your offering, the Lord will bless you. He will open more doors unto you. He will open more doors unto you. You will experience uncommon favor from above in the name of Jesus. Begin to expect, begin to expect, and begin to prepare your heart to give in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you will be blessed this month and beyond. You will be blessed all the way and beyond in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, speak on your seed. Speak on your seed this morning and it will germinate and it will yield full to exceedingly abundantly above far more than what you can even think of in the name of Jesus because he has promised and he will never fail give and it shall be given unto you he has promised and he will never fail La the Lord is faithful the Lord is faithful has he not said then will he not do it oh God you are a faithful God you are a faithful God who sees John generation to generation of oh God you have remained the same an unchangeable unchanger in the name of Jesus we welcome your spirit even as we give oh God you will bless us oh God look unto us oh God from heaven and bless us uh, with uncommon favor with uncommon favor with increase with fruitfulness in the name of Jesus every expectation will be met every expectation will be met in the name of Jesus we will not live here the same we will not live here the same in the name of Jesus. We want to bless your name. We want to bless your name. The Bible says in Psalm 65, verse 2, I read, it said, Oh, you who hear prayer, to you shall all flesh come. We have come before God and we believe that God has heard our prayer. Begin to lift up your hand towards heaven and begin to thank God for answer prayer. Begin to thank him for answer prayer in the name of Jesus. He's moved by his word. Has he not said and will he not do it? Oh, you who hear prayer, to you shall we come. We have come before you, the unchangeable unchanger. You will never change. You remain the same. You have promised and you will never fail. Your faithfulness is forever sure, oh God. 
God from day to day you remain the same in the name of Jesus la prati li badala basutaya ba la prandi li busataya be la katala basutaya ba li prandala basataya kula basitaya ba la katala basitaya ba in the name of Jesus we bless your name we bless your name we welcome your spirit oh God take charge holy spirit let the blood speak let the blood speak oh God carry away every bed you know God and give us the answers that we need we thank you for answer prayer we thank you for answer prayer in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit we bless your name we bless your name put your hands together begin to thank God bless your name we bless your name let your club rise to the Lord this morning and good morning and praise the Lord somebody it's a pleasant morning to be in the house to let our worship and our praise rise to the king if you can lift your hands and begin to bless the name of the lord with your own tongue with your own voice lord this morning we are blessed we are privileged oh god to come before your throne room of grace and of power knowing lord this morning we say less of us and more of you more of your power may you come descend and walk among us oh lord today let your name be praised. Let your name be praised. Let your name be praised. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. He deserves to be glorified.
that we have that confidence to stand before him somebody give him glory put your hands together for Jesus hallelujah oh Lord we bless you we bless you we bless you we bless you come on somebody I believe you're ready to give him that praise that praise that belongs to only him
Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord this morning. He deserves to be worshipped. All nations shall come before you, bowing to your throne. Every knee will bow, every tongue shall proclaim and confess your lordship, your kingship, your majesty.
and fitness event saturday 23rd march will be a blast as we hit the road with the 40th anniversary life walk join pastor mensa otabel and the icgc family on a 12 kilometer walk in celebration of 40 years of god's grace grab a 40th anniversary t-shirt and walking tag from the nearest icgc assembly Life Walk 2024 starts and finishes at Christ Temple East. Starting time, 5.30 a.m. prompt. Walking route from Christ Temple East at Teshi. Turn left to Chado Roundabout. Military Cemetery. Turn at the Leicester Roundabout through the Military Cemetery. Chado Roundabout and back to Christ Temple East, Teshi. Recovery buses will also ply routes to pick up anybody who's unable to continue from the kilometric points to the finishing grounds at Christ and Police. Prepare for an unforgettable experience filled with joy and exhilaration. Get your 40th anniversary t-shirts and walk-in tags today from your local assembly and let's walk in our numbers. Life Walk is in support of mental health care delivery in Ghana. Don't miss out on the crusade after the walk as part of our rich activities in March. Life Walk 2024, 40,000 feet, walking in celebration of 40 years of God's grace. Have you shared the gospel with someone? Have you told someone about the love of Christ? Have you won a soul today? Tell your family, friends, colleagues, and workmates what Christ has done for you whenever you get the opportunity, either in person or on social media. Invite them to church and let's share fellowship together in Christ. God bless you as you reach out with the gospel. Each winning souls for Christ. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and to cause him grief. Yet, when his life is made as an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. This Easter, join us at the Holy Ghost Temple as we hold our first Spiritual Emphasis program for 2024. Ministering, Reverend Dr. Robert Ampiakofi. He's taking you out of nowhere to place you somewhere. And Prophet Christopher Yano. You need to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit before you go out. Date, Tuesday 26th March to Friday 29th March 2024. Time, 6.30 p.m. each night. Venue, ICGC Holy Ghost Temple Adenta Frafraha. Follow us on our socials for more details and enquiries. Come and be blessed. Is Hallelujah. That Let's put our hands together for the Lord again, Jesus. Where we gather to have fellowship, have fun, and enjoy lots of food. Ladies and gentlemen, our Easter picnic and mini fair is here again. Date Monday, 1st of April 2024. Time 10 a.m. happening here at the Holy Ghost Temple. Prepare your palates and bellies to experience a wide variety of delicious local and continental dishes and drinks. Yes, the food bells will start ringing from breakfast for those who come early, right down to lunch and even supper. Get your game phase on and get ready to compete in our indoor and outdoor games. There would be musical chairs, table tennis, oware, ludo, jenga, snooker, dance, football, racing simulators, video games, and many more. The children are definitely not left out as we bring the party to their doorstep with fun activities such as bouncing castles, slides, trampoline, face painting, cotton candy distribution, and mug as a 
Come along with your wallets, debits, and credit cards, including your checkbooks, and make your way to our stands at the mini fair. There will be a variety of goods and services on display for good businesses. Side attraction includes brass band music. You don't want to miss out on this wonderful time of fun, bonding, and establishing godly relationships. Come along with food and drinks to share, and don't forget to bring any indoor or outdoor games that you love to play. Well, 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 let's put our hands together for the Lord one more time. And let's give the Lord some praise. Let's give the Lord some praise. Let's give the Lord some praise. You can shout to the Lord. You can wave to the Lord. Hallelujah. It's amazing that someone who knew no sin offered himself as a sacrifice, for which reason you and I are here today, and we can call ourselves the sons and daughters of of the Most High God. Amen. And so in the spirit when we remember the death, the resurrection of the only son who was fit to be a sacrifice for all of us, we are being reminded to step out there and share the good news to those who don't know the Lord so that they also may find the same joy that we have found they may experience the same grace we have experienced and join us here together we will serve our most high god amen so i hope you remember that we are in the period that we are evangelizing and you haven't forgotten and so you will be stepping out there you will be inviting people to church and you will be speaking to people about the goodness of the lord amen on that note, it is my joy to welcome you to today's morning service on behalf of the senior pastor, Prophet Ewano, and his wife, Reverend Felicia Ano. Usually when we do meet like this, some people join us for the first time, and to those people, a big welcome to you. But we want to see you, so may I ask you briefly, wherever you are seated, to stand up as the rest of us will put our hands together and welcome them into God's house. Let's see you stand if today is your first time here, and let's welcome them with a clap. Those of you seated close to them, please. Give them a warm handshake and receive them into God's house. Hallelujah. Our ushers are coming round with welcome forms. Please wait till they get to you and hand you one. If you receive one of the forms, you may please take your seat. We ask you to complete the form that you have been given, provide us of your names and your contact details. And during the time of offering, please place the completed form in the offering basket. After service, our hosts and hostesses would like to meet with you for a short time before you go home. They will be waiting for you right at our guest lunch, and you can find it if you use the middle exit to my right, straight ahead of you. We call it the A structure, but you may not know what that means. So please use the middle exit, go straight ahead of you. Our guest lunch uh, is there, and they will be waiting for you. Amen. If you also are unable to complete the form during the time of the service, you may give it to them and, or ask for the assistance, and they will help you to complete the form. For those of you who have joined our service using the internet, a big welcome to you as well. We believe that you will be blessed as the service goes on. We have got several you know, social media channels on which you can join our service, just in case you are not able to join us in person. But I always encourage you, if you happen to be in this vicinity, then make your way here Sunday mornings. Let's join together and praise God. Amen. Just remind you that you are the Holy Ghost Temple of the International Central Gospel Church, a Bible-believing charismatic church with a commitment to bringing leadership and vision to our generation and also influencing our society through the principles of Christ. If we do anything here that you don't understand, please do let us know and we will, by God's grace and using his word, explain to you why we do the things we do here. We have a number that we put on the screen and please do take it down, note it down in your notebook or somewhere in your files and you can always use that to contact us with your questions. Please take note of the following reminders. So Life Walk is coming on, coming Saturday, which is the 23rd of March and it starts at 5, p, 5 a.m. in the morning in the morning, 5 a.m. Remember, it's beginning at Christ Temple East and make your way there. There are working tax that have been distributed already, but if you haven't received one, please pick one after service and then get ready to work on Saturday morning, the 23rd of March from 5 a.m. beginning from Christ Temple East Station. 
reached 2024. And as part of the celebration, remember we are 40 years as a church and we continue to reach out to the world. So please take note, there are cards that have been prepared that would help you with your uh, evangelism. Indeed, if you go to the church's website, you can download several materials that you can use for your outreach. So please do take note, visit icgcholyghosttemple.org slash reach and you can get all the uh, you know, aids and materials we have prepared for this purpose. Spiritual emphasis, Easter edition. So please, again, take note from Tuesday, the 26th of March through to Friday, the 29th of March, 6.30 p.m. each night, we will have spiritual emphasis in this, pro in this place. So please take note. Ministering, as you are aware already, Prophet Christopher Yawano and Reverend Dr. Robert Ampia Kofi. Please do take note from Tuesday 26th to Friday 29th March, 6.30 p.m. each night. And as we continue to broadcast the spiritual emphasis, next Sunday, if you have the spiritual emphasis t-shirt, do put it on and, and come to church as we continue to make known what God is going to be doing in this place as we have announced. And we also ask that after service, there are materials that have been prepared uh, for you to be able to take pictures and post on your social media channels. So please use those photography materials, take some photos, nice photos with friends and family, post them on your social media handles and announce that we are going to have a great time here from the Tuesday, the 26th through to Friday, the 29th of March. Good Friday service. Friday, the 29th of March is Friday, so please take note, Good Friday, of course. 8 a.m., we would have our Good Friday morning service. And so it means that on Friday 29th, there are two services, the morning service and then the evening service, which is spiritual emphasis. So please take note. In the morning service on Friday 29th, we will have communion. And so please kindly take note. Sunday, the 31st of March, 8 a.m., we will have our Resurrection Sunday service to remember, commemorate, the great work that God did on that fateful day when Christ got up from the grave and he lives forever. So please come 31st of March and let's have our beautiful Resurrection Sunday service. And then the first day of April, which is Monday, from 10 a.m., we will have picnic, Easter Monday picnic and mini fair. And we encourage all members to attend, to participate. There's going to be lots and lots of games and fun for all age groups, from the toddlers through the, to the very elderly. And you want to participate in these uh, games. Again, we ask those of you who have got businesses to go to the PVV decks and register for a slot, a booth that you can showcase your business and the things you have got to provide in terms of your service and your products. So please take note, after service, go to the PVV desk and register. We ask you also to bring various indoor and outdoor games that you have so that you can play with your friends. And then come with lots of food as well and enjoy with your brothers and sisters. Wedding announcement. This is the first announcement of the wedding that will be between Gibson Oredu and Nasia Kwaku. The wedding will take place on Saturday, the 6th of April, 2024, at the Agri Chapel located within the Achimota School, and the time is 11.30 a.m. This morning, the would-be couple uh, at the ladies' church for introduction. And so next Sunday when they come, we will introduce them again to you. Gibson is a member of this church. He works with Newman Ghana as a facilities supervisor. Nasia is a member of the Letterhouse Glory Center in Dansuman. 
She serves in their music and youth department. She is an HR and admin officer working with Lanza Developers Limited. People of God, if there be any reason why Gibson and Nasia should not be lawfully joined together in holy matrimony, then let the senior pastor and the leadership of the church know. If not, when it does happen, kindly hold your peace. And may I add that Gibson is the son of our head usher, Minister Oredu. And so get ready uh, to support those who work in God's house. Hallelujah. And pray for them. Amen. It's time for us to bring our offering to God this morning. And I'm sure you have prayed about your offering. You have planned for it. And you're ready to give to God, honoring him for who he is and what he does for us always. This morning, as we bring our offering, we will receive music ministration from our sister, Vicentia Ajay. And may I ask you to put your hands together for her. In terms of giving your offering, you can do so digitally, or you may give your cash or your check. And so once again, put your hands together for Sister Vicentia. Hallelujah. We have come to give God praise. Amen.
Hallelujah. Indeed, our God is good. He takes care of us. Even the lion, as strong as it is, sometimes goes hungry. But for those who depend on the Lord, He will supply all our needs according to His riches and glory. Please help me acknowledge our sister. Let's put our hands together for her. And let's put our hands together for the band that supported her. Amen. Before I invite God's servant to speak to us, I'm sure as you entered the auditorium, you were given a copy of this very nice looking little slip. Uh, on the one side, you've got a message there that can help you to start a conversation with somebody you want to invite to attend our spiritual emphasis program. And so read it yourself, understand it, and use it as a conversation starter, as we call it. And then this side is the invite for whoever you meet that you, you love, that you want to benefit from what you're going to be doing here and experiencing here. You want to use it to invite that person to join us. So please, if you did not get any after service, uh, make sure you get at least one and use it to invite somebody. Talk to somebody about Christ. Talk to somebody about his death, his resurrection, and invite someone to join us here. Amen. Hallelujah. And then the second thing I want to say is that uh, as I sat there trying to give my offering, I was restricted. I couldn't give my offering. I think the challenges of the network. I'm not sure if any of you experienced that, but find a way of giving your offering because you decided to give God an offering today, isn't it? So continue to try. If it doesn't work, find cash and, and put in the offering. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. So it's time for us to receive God's word, and God has prepared a servant, and he's given him the word that you and I need in this season. Please help me welcome the servant of God, Prophet Christopher Yao Ano. Precious Father, we come before you presenting our bodies, then the substance which you give to us. We give it as an offering, declaring that, Lord, you are good. We give it willingly from our heart cheerfully with joy and by faith we receive your grace your sufficiency your abundance in everything in Jesus name amen, amen. amen. hallelujah be seated you're welcome to church fire burning in my soul
upon us the fire in your bone your pastor don't need to beg you to go and tell somebody about Christ the problem with the church is that the church is getting cold when we get cold how can we hit somebody so you tell them go and hit the people say, no, no, no. he himself is cold he needs some heat we must get on fire. Yeah. Oh, I said we must get on fire. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Fire, fire, fire. Fire for me. Everybody say fire. Fire, fire. Everybody say fire. Fire, 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 fire,
I don't like uh, cool church. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the world have more ice water. So when we come to church, we must get ourselves because we have Christ. There was a time the church met and when they met, the Bible said the day when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in a place. And suddenly, before then, Jesus appeared unto them. And they started asking him, when shall you restore the kingdom? Jesus, when will your power, your party come to power? <laughs> so that no, everybody want. <laughs> Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? We thought you coming, you were going to restore the kingdom before we realized you were killed. <laughs> so at this time, will this kingdom be restored to us? God, that is all the expectation of the Jew. At this time, Lord, will you make me the millionaire you say you make me? Lord, when will you heal this, my disease and my sickness? So there are questions we ask. And the way Jesus answered the question, <laughs> And he said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. Men will always want to know. Very inquisitive. As you are standing here, sitting down here, you want to know every detail about your life. You want to know? Maybe accept the day you die. <laughs> Nobody will ask, Lord, when am I going to die? Nobody has asked that. There are things God has promised us, and we are all waiting. And we are expecting, when will this thing come to pass? God has promised but the day and the time is in his hands. The promises of God they are yea and amen but the day and the time is in his hands. And that is what makes us very agitated. That makes some people backslide you wait small, the thing is not coming because you don't know who day. Even his coming, we don't know. People have predicted, they gave dates, and the date came to pass. <laughs> People use and say, oh, this is the time he will come. And Yankupon Doji, you know. So, I've been thinking that Jesus will come this year. We are not sure. Someone said, Let me marry first. <laughs> so, they are not different from us that want to know the times of fulfillment of what He's promised us. Jesus says it's not even <laughs> and he said to them it is not for you to know times 
or a season who the father has put in his own authority. Just obey, trust, and walk by what he said. The time and the season when they come, you will have it. We heard the first, the song that was sung, that the lion, uh, the Did the young man, the, the young lion shall. You, uh, the young lion lack and suffer hunger. Lions are very strong. In the bush, they can catch any animal. But it's different between having strength and finding the animal. The finding is God who makes you see it. You may have all kind of knowledge, all kind of education, all kind of uh, whatever you need to make it in this world. But finding it comes from God. You need to prepare the lion. It doesn't mean that the lion is not strong. He's strong. The only problem is that he might not find the prey. If you don't find it, all your strength is useless. So in this world, the prayer is provided by God. So because if from God, if you rely on yourself like the lion, that because I am strong when I go out every day, I'll get something, you are at loss. Because you will go with that knowledge for that you will have it truly. You can catch it truly. But whether you will find something to catch, that depends on God. I hope you're getting me. That is why with all your abilities, we still need to trust God. Sometimes, oh, for me, some people come to say, you, sometimes some people come to me, I look at what they have achieved. Huh. And when they talk to you, the knowledge they possess, some of them can rule a nation. But there's no nation to rule. <laughs> we have potential presidents here. Potential pastors here, prophets here, that can pastor the church better than me. But there's no church. <laughs> it is God who provides. <laughs> so the fact that you have the ability doesn't mean that you have achieved. It is when God opens the door for you to use your ability, that is what I'm praying for you. We are in a month of uh, rich. I encourage all of us to bring somebody. There's somebody, did, who, how many of you brought somebody? Because I want to know before I continue. <laughs> if I know there's nothing to catch, then I shouldn't exercise my strength for nothing. Can somebody save us? How many of you witness to somebody? Oh, let me see you. Oh, you brought somebody. Oh, sister, welcome. Oh, two of you should stand up. I'll pray for you. <laughs> How many of you also, if you brought somebody, stand with that person? Uh, uh. Oh, great, 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 great. Clap for them, clap for them, clap for them. Clap for them. One for beer, man now be the beer back. Boom, it's a man. Clap, clap. Clap. Oh.
great, so I have a reason to preach. You've saved them. So I want you who didn't witness, I want you to pray for these people. Huh? Dude, I'm going to give you an assignment. We are going to pray now. And our prayer is towards them. Great. I want us to pray whenever we win the soul. Something great happens. Disciple made heaven to rejoice. I want us to pray that they themselves and their families will have a hundredfold joy in their life. Whatever they put their hands to do, it will prosper in their hand. Because they've been mindful about the Father's work. And may the Lord, they've sought the kingdom first. And may the Lord add all other things to them. I know you, 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 are, you are feeling very jealous. But don't worry. Next week when you bring yours to, you can get the same prayer. Amen. I want us to pray for them. Come on. Just pray for them. I want you to pray for them. I'm praying for them that these people that they have brought, the Lord will establish them. The Lord will give them meaning in life. The Lord will speak to them. The Lord will work a great work for their lives. If you also witness somebody, you couldn't bring that person, you can stand with them, want to pray for you, want to pray for you, want to pray for you. Oh Lord, if we spoke to somebody about Christ, maybe the person didn't come during the week, you can stand, let's pray for all of them. Pray for them. The Lord will increase them. To have the crown. May the Lord crown them with glory and honor. May the Lord take care of their need. May the Lord reward them because they have done the will of the Father. Pray for them, our Heavenly Father. We thank you for these ones who are standing there. We pray for a divine touch, divine grace upon their life. Every promise that is attached to obedience, may it be their portion. Every promise that is attached to winning souls, Lord, may it be their portion. May you not forget about them. May you remember them. May you increase them. May you grace them. May you cause them, Lord, to see the next future. And Lord, may the fruit of this one abide. And may they rejoice because the Lord has been their helper. Lord, once they have been, they are careful about your work. May you also be careful about this. May you take care about for their whatever they also need in the name of Jesus. We say, Lord, thank you. We say, Lord, bless you. Thank you in Jesus' name. May you protect them, preserve them. May you keep them, O oh God. May you make them an example in their community, O oh Lord, and Lord above all. May they increase in every area of their lives. In Jesus' name. What they have not asked, Lord, do it for them. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen, amen and amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. amen. I will take some time, but I will, the rest, I'll be doing it, I think every 30 minutes on Friday, I'll use it to help you how to witness but I'll just talk something that you will know how to do it yes hallelujah 
So we will use that. Uh, why do we have to uh, witness as Christians? It is a duty. Tell somebody it's a duty. Say it's your duty. Say it's your duty. The Bible call it the great, some of them call it the great commission. It's one of the things when Jesus was leaving, he left with us. He said, go ye into the whole world and preach the good news. And anyone who will believe, we shall baptize them. And that is our work. So our job is to preach his, the work of the Holy Spirit is to convict them, show Christ to them, what we pray to them, he make it in the flesh form and let them see it. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to what? To what? To what? So the gospel is for everyone. It is not for a selective people, people who are selected to everyone in your community, every human being you see walking around, the gospel is for him. Our problem is that what about when we tell them and they turn us off? That is, he didn't say go and get them born again. Say, go and preach. He is the one who should convict them. Once you preach, you finish your work. The Bible says, when you see a sinner, somebody sinning, and you refuse to tell the sinner, if the sinner dies, the blood is upon you. He said, prophet, you are frightening us. That is the truth. So any bad unbeliever you pass by, which you ought to speak to, his blood is with you. That's how serious it is. When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, what did God tell Adam? He said, any soul that sinned will surely die. And he said, all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. He's telling us to save this. Oh, please don't remove, don't remove it. He's telling us to save. The entire world lies in the hands of the wicked ones. The entire world. The wicked one is having his field day. So God has chosen you. That this world is heading towards a crash. So warn them. Send your my message to them that I have a way of bringing them out because they of their own cannot save themselves. I have paid the price. They just need to believe me. But the word must go to convict them to repent and after repentance then God can save them. And when I say to the wicked you shall surely die and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his world, to save what? So the purpose of our witnessing is to save people's life. That same wicked man, if we don't tell the man, that person, Yes, he will live his life. That same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Dying in their sins is very serious. God wants to take 
them out of the Adamic sin and place them in Christ. He doesn't want anybody to die in a sin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life or eternal life. Eternal life. A life that has no end. A life that continues. We have eternal life and we have eternal death. We want to shift men from eternal death to eternal life. It doesn't take so much money. It takes a change of heart. And a change of heart will not come until the word goes with the power of the Holy Spirit. To convict them, then they can turn, then God can save them. Let me finish the scripture. I know some people say, Prophet, you are, you are, after singing these beautiful songs, jumping, you are trying to frighten us. That same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. This is a very serious business. It's not a frightening thing. But let's go to the next verse. Yet, if you warn the wicked, you preach to the one in the world, and he does not turn from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity the same way, but you have delivered your soul. Are you getting me? This is not me preaching. This is me talking. It's God is one talking. Let me see the next verse. Again, when the righteous man turns from his righteousness and commit iniquity and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because you did not give him warning. He shall die in his sin. And his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be remembered. But his blood I will require at your hand. I want us to see the seriousness of neglecting to help people, the Christian, when the Christian is misbehaving, talk to him. Help him. Don't encourage him. Help him. When a non believer is there, preach the gospel to him. So we have responsibility to both the unbeliever. I'm the believer. Let's help ourselves not to backslide. Why? The reason why I read this is that as you go out, there are two kind of people we're going to meet. Those who have fallen off and have left the faith. Let's bring them back. Those who haven't heard about Christ, let's get them know about Christ. I hope you're getting me. We are snatching people from the hands of the devil. We have to depopulate hell and populate heaven. Heaven must be filled and hell must go empty because of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is a prophet, you are, you are, you are, what you are saying, 
it is our duty it's a duty of the Christian to preach the gospel when Jesus told them that oh let me go back to my book of Acts and he said to them but you shall receive power where, where, did, where did we read the first Ad, uh, go back therefore when they had come together they asked him saying Lord will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel we have our business finding where we can be rich we can get this we can get that we can get that our own comfort that's what we are looking for and, and sometimes most of us we come to church what we need is God help me my family full stop some even pray that they alone become rich so that others can depend on them and they will show them that they are great. So they also ask for the blessing they're going to get. And he said to them, it is not for you to know the season who or at the times or season who their father has put in his own authority. Verse 8. But this is what you must know. So he brought but. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. They ask to know when they can. Uh, their party will come to power because they know I'm going to give you work. Forget about your party coming to power. I'm giving you work. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, He is going to make you a witness. There's something about you that when people see you, they know you are for with Christ. Peter, John, James, Bartholomew, and all the rest, they were there casting lot. Before then, they were casting lot because they didn't know what to do. So they were casting lot. They did election. The uh, electoral commissioner was there. Then they, they voted. So everybody's eyes was looking who will win. No cheating in that one. Yeah, because they are Christians. <laughs> and it fell on somebody. So they added him. And they cast out their lot. And the Lord fell on Matthias. And he was numbered with the 11 apostles. Because one uh, had hanged himself. He followed money and hanged himself. The thief hanged himself. Didn't I tell you Judas was a thief? Oh. The Bible said it. I didn't say it. He said because he was a thief. Not because he cared for the poor. So, he said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. When God's Spirit, the sign that the Spirit of God is upon a man, is whether he's a witness. You should stand out among everybody. When you are at a meeting and you speak, they should see salt. Of Christ in your speech you don't speak like others to be a witness when you are even doing politics you will do it the Christ way in your office it's not only speaking they will say ah this man this lady is different the way she works you can depend on her. 
She does her things. And she would does her things like if Jesus was here, it was Jesus, how he would do it. People should see your character, not only your speech. There are different things we can do to be witnesses. Imagine you fighting in Trotro. At a fighting with the people. Then you want to witness to them. Will it be effective? No. <laughs> you can preach the best message. They will rubbish it and throw it away because of where the message is coming from. So in witnessing, the reason why some of us don't have the boldness to witness is because of our lifestyle. We know ourselves and we know they know us. So, you are, you are not bold to tell them Jesus wants to save you. Because you yourself, you don't behave like a saved man, a saved woman. So, it's that our own character sometimes keeps us and makes us lose confidence in telling others what Christ is all about. It's difficult for a poor man to go and preach prosperity at East Legon. Made from Sukuda, Wamobi, Nima, to go and preach prosperity with my shoe like <laughs> this side half is gone, this side is gone, and I walk like a bow legged man. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's not that I'm bow legged, but shoe. You meet and you want to preach prosperity. You look at the person well dressed in his car, what friend come about. How do you tell that Jesus can make you a rich man? Oh, confidence in your friend. But does it mean that we shouldn't preach it? No. If you go to preach yourself, that's how it happens. But if you go to preach Christ, I believe that there is something, what we are preaching is not prosperity. It's not Jesus who do this. We are preaching that people are going to hell. There is a heaven. People must go. That heaven, you don't buy it with money. It doesn't matter whether, it's not a plane ticket that you can buy first class. You can have all your monies. Look, they can bury you with aeroplane coffin. Put you in an air condition new. Uh, uh, the new uh, uh. Some of you know cars plenty. What's the newest one? What's the, the latest? I must have a mobile. I'm going to go for it. And now we are seeing she and Kakra. The new castle. The letters. Or oh, some of you, your latest dress, latest coat. It doesn't matter whether they buried you with full coat or half coat. <laughs> you need the righteousness of God, the dressing of the Lord. We are going into the world to tell them that the world is not what you are living in. There is an afterworld. And it's the afterworld that we are talking about. 
We are not going to live here forever. I assure all of you, by 80 years, all of you who are here, including me, if we are here, they will call us Ghana here. They will call us witches. You won't even like to live here. All your mates are gone. <laughs> you will be detached from the new world you are living in. He said, I joined uh, the youth. They had some nice program. And there were some terms that were used. And I saw that I am old. <laughs> hey, I can tell myself in my mind that you are young, but <laughs> some of us you say, Oh, Charlie, me, oh, person, and this are brand new, pan, and Tina, both galleys are still. I saw that, hey, the things they were mentioning, the names they used, I have no clue. We have, after closure, I have to come and, we have to come and do research to know what they were talking about. Oh? I've said, our world is different. Some of you didn't bring your children. You could have encouraged them. It was good for them. It went into their world to help them. We'll be organizing more. Amen. And those who are single too, we'll organize a program for you. Yabre, I say, ye demo ba, ne bom pa ye. Babi a me mani shebi a, babi a mani shebi a. I say omo ba. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God permit violence, and the violence we take it by force. <laughs> so. Get ready, we'll do it in such a way. A holy meeting. Pure one. Trusting God. Asking God to work something for our lives. Amen. So that we can move on with life. Amen. Amen. God wants us to be witnesses. What we want to show the sinner in our witnesses it's a simple thing that Jesus is the only son of God who came to this world and died and resurrected and took our sins. Wash our sin because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. He didn't remold it. He didn't just make you look, but he took those sins. He didn't cover the sins. He took them away. You know, there are some sins who cover them. And most of us are covering some sins some offenses in your mind. The day the person will do, he said, Medacho. The next time he does, he said, Yesterday. <laughs> the other day, that the same. He mentioned, I don't know, Esho. That is not what God does. He deals with you based on what you have done today. When He forgets, He forgives you, He forgives you. He forgives us 
So forgiveness is preached in the name of Jesus. Then we should be able to lead. When Jesus is resurrected, I said, if we believe in our heart, we need to create faith in the heart of the person that God raised Jesus from the dead. God raised Jesus from the dead. The more them well will make it look stupid. And the Bible says that the gospel is, looks very stupid in the mind of those who are perishing. But to those who are saved, it is. Great to them. So Jesus died. Did he die for you? Yes. Or you died for yourself? Yes. You see, our witnessing is not to go and say, stop sinning. They know that what they are doing is sinful. Stop drinking. They know somebody don't like to drink, but they are addicted. Some of them know that they, what they're doing is destroying them. But you are introducing a solution. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. No, that's not what we are going to preach. Don't eat this meat. Don't wear what? <laughs> Cut off your hair. Dress like this. That is not the good news. The good news is that we are struggling. We wanted to stop sinning, but we can't stop. But somebody has come and died for our sin to help us come out of that sin. Amen. You can use the word, the good word. How many of you, I think, I am a village guy. I, have, I, I, I came from a village. And in the farm, we do fix... Uh, Miss farming. Uh, you have this and then you can, you can you get small fowls. Uh, 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 this and so you feed them with uh, of corn. You can use the same corn, especially. I confirm. You know it. You know confirm. Answer. You know answer? Or you don't know? Guinea fowl. They can fly. I know some of you, you call it Bogatanga helicopter. Don't go and tell uh, Pastor Isu. <laughs> they can fly, but we catch them. We don't use net. We use food. We put it down in a nice way, in a loving way. Then they come. Then they come. They trust the eater until they t when people are eating, when they trust you, and when they come from. But you can do the same. Come. Throw it at them and they all fly away. Yeah. It's very true. So you can use the word of God to drive people away. And you can use the word of God to bring them back. I hope you are getting me. So don't go and use the word of God and drive them into the world. 
but use it to bring them. And when they come, you feed them and feed them and feed them. They forget that they have to go back again. They will stay with Christ. So Jesus died. It's a good news. That's why that's what we are going to preach. It's a good news. A good news. Everybody wants to hear good news. So we're going to preach the good news. Say good news. Say good news. You don't need to know everything. But you must know what. You got to born again. How did you get born again? What did you hear? Know it. Very simple. You believe in Christ. How? What was your experience? What word did you hear? The word you heard that got you born again can get another person born again. So, it's not just to learn new. It's good to learn more things. Don't go and argue. And as we go, you know, how many of you have got this? There are different approach. And this is a track approach. And you can distribute and give the track and invite the person. Rejoice for he is risen. Easter is a time of jubilation. Gratitude as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. Isn't it? Is that, how, is that what is? Or everybody have got a different one? You have different on yours? Okay, what, did, what do you have there? Let somebody read his or hers. This, it talks about that all of it is centered on Jesus. Who has a track that do not talk about Jesus? Here. Then that track is not for witnessing. The central theme is Jesus. There are two type of human beings we have. When God is looking at us, he either sees you in the first Adam as when I say first Adam, he sees you as an Adam mama with the flesh, with the sin, rejected. Or he sees you in the second, is it the, the last Adam. We have the first and have the last. The population of the world is two. Adam first, Adam last. There are two parties. Adam first, the ruling government. I'm not saying Ghana here. I'm just talking about that. Adam second. Adam last, sorry. So what we are doing is to move people from Adam first to Adam last. Adam last, when you enter into Adam last, it takes you to heaven. When you remain in Adam first, it takes you to hell. There are two destinations. Which Adam first 
which is the deeds of the flesh and other things, will carry you that plane called Adam Fess is taking, is going to hell. And if you have a ticket for that, you are inside. You go there. We want to move people from the Adam Fess into Adam Lass. And the Adam Lass is flying to heaven. He has assured us that everybody has a mansion. He said, I am going to prepare for you a place. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you that I'm going to prepare you a place. And when I finish, I will come back with my plane and catch you up with me. So this are what and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you toward myself that where I am, there you may be also. So the cause of destination of the soul of men, that is why we are preaching. We are going to witness. There are places we want to be where Jesus will be forever. Wherever Jesus will be is a place that is called the eternal place where it's called eternal life is there. Where the other place is death. So we are bringing people from darkness into light. So that is why it is very important to talk and preach, give the track to them, invite them. Uh, so one way is a track. The other way is the help approach. You want to help somebody? Oh, you are looking for a place? Yes. Oh, really? What, what do you want? Then you take your time as you go with them. You chip in. Oh, why you got you, you? You couldn't find a way. You don't know why can't you find a place? Do you know that there are people are also looking for eternal place? There's eternal place we are also going. That if you don't find a way, you go the wrong way. Then you chip in the gospel. So in everything you can chip in the gospel in a very nice way. And bring Christ in. Once you create the need, you create the person that, look, there is some need in your life about your life. Somebody say, oh, I mean, well, for me, I'm better. You know, people have an idea that they compare their life with Christians. They say, oh, sure, I know some Christians. I'm better than them. It is not whether they are better or worse. It is whether the seed is you. Hey, if it is coconut seed, you cannot get yam. If it is mango, don't expect orange. So if you want to bear fruit of mango, Take the mango Jesus yes. and you will bring up the mango itself will come out. You don't need to force to bear fruit of mango because the seed in you is mango. So it will bear mango fruit. Yes. So then the struggle, why you are struggling is because uh, of the type of seed in you so you will help a person then we can also get the request approach Jesus and the Samaritan the Samaritan came and Jesus asked was it a request yeah give me water this man 
He wanted to preach the gospel. I didn't even read that he even got the water from the woman. When they brought him the food, they said, ah, Master, you say you were hungry and you sent us. We have come, you and this lady, you are sitting down. Hey, Jesus. Move in you. Say, give me water to drink. That's the request. And a woman entered into a debate with Jesus. A Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. Then the woman of Samaria said to her, how is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealing with Samaritans. Some people think that Christians don't like them. Some people think that their ways are variant with Christianity. You don't go to fight them. Paul. So Jesus used a conversation then before he brought her to the salvation and gave her the message. Paul was walking and he went to, he saw fetish, uh, fetish things around. Instead of condemning them, he rather used those gods to preach the gospel in every condition create and bring Jesus out of it. Amen. For as I was passing through and considering the object of your worship so people have different objects of worship. Their object of worship some object of worship is a tree. Some object of worship is a river. Some object of worship is a hill. Some object of worship is a crossroad. So people have different. Some have a molded. They, they've done some carvings and put it down and the thing is standing like this and they hang some things around the neck and put something on it. That's their object of worship. If you don't take time, you'll be so angry and start condemning them when you go to that village. But that is not the way to condemn. Paul saw it and he took advantage. He was going and going and he saw one. These people, they like God everywhere. Like, like us. Every home has a God. So he went one and they did was and the, the people got tired so they didn't have it. They said this one is unknown. So when he saw the unknown one <laughs> he used that one to preach the gospel. For as I was passing through and considering the object of worship I even found an altar with this inscription the unknown God. Therefore the one whom you worship without knowing him I proclaim to you. So using the same object to preach to them. You don't tell them that those gods can do anything. Find a way of bringing them out of that God. Pointing them that look, you are very spiritual. You are looking for a God. But there is another, there is, this God is the one you are looking for. But because you can't find him, you are looking it through a tree and this one. So he is this and that. Find a way of bringing that person. I hope you're getting me. So you can use any method, even your office. You can use your office natural thing to preach the gospel. It might not come. You see, the, way, the, the, the gospel point is in it. It might not be religious, but it is still Christ. 
the Christ become the center. The sin still become a sin. <laughs> but in a facility, a very skillful way. So pray to them. If you fight, they will repel. If you love, they will open up. So God himself did not come to fight us when he was bringing the gospel. Uh, he said, for God so loved the world. So we open up. Then he gave us his only begotten son. So you're going with the love for the people not to go and whip them. They themselves, they are guilty already. You'll go and add more guilty. <laughs> I used to, I, when I used to work at some, I think, some 40 years ago, 40 something years ago, I was walking by, I met some people, and they were preaching by uh, to the side there. They called them Ujam Street. They preach. Ojam Street. Se <laughs> Ushe Garantia Ojam Street. Se U Penti Wano Ojam Street. Like all of you Ojam Street. And I passed there, and they're making Ojam Street. I listened to them. They thought I was very interested. So I, so a gentleman came to me, one of them. He said, I'm going to go to the I was going to tell him that. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go Ojam Street. If you don't give them a solution to the Ojam. <laughs> so he started, uh, he brought the scriptures, hell, he, he talking now. Then I just asked him one question. I said, Krachi, when you're born in there, I said, my, oh, born in there, my baby. I'm so jump street. Let's just say the one preaching and the one listening. <laughs> All of us will jump street. So I said, You have preaching a very good message. There's no solution to it. I'm going to give you the solution. The way to come out of the Ujam is Christ Jesus. So what we are preaching that every sinner will go to hell. But Jesus died for sinners and went to hell so that we will go to heaven. Before I finish, the guy got converted. Uh, He's going to be with the Lord, David Ampiao. The children are here. The wife sings at the choir here. Ojam. <laughs> if we drive a nice car. We're going to <laughs> our, our end here. <laughs> so you can start in different way. While I close, I end with this. That as we go out, the question approach is very important. 
Say, do you think life is worth living? Because people are discouraged. Some are giving up. They are trying and things are not working. So you start with, uh, do you think life is worth living? Say, oh, yeah, bread. Then you got him. You are bringing a solution. Then you tell him, yes, you might not have money in your pocket. But don't suffer on F here and suffer after F. So at least there's a promise for us. If you have Christ, you have eternal life. And that's what I'm giving to you. And it is very easy for those people to receive it. And you can also uh, 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 use current things. Use what is happening. The wars, don't use it negatively. But use it. They said the wars are dead, things are difficult because of Ukraine, because of Israel, wars. Even you can even use the internet. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'll take as a, as a message. Say, look, if you were depending on the internet, so everything can fail. And Jesus don't want to fail you. So there are things you can use to get the attention of people and bring the good news. Don't just go bang, 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 and they will throw you away. Just learn how to <laughs> start conversation with the current things. Uh, uh, well, today, today did, did your phone work? Did your internet work? I said, oh, no. Oh, why? I said, do you know that God doesn't want sin? It's like cutting the internet line. And so that when you pray, it doesn't go to God. I hope, I hope you're getting me. They say, ah, that's why when I pray, I don't get answers. Then you get him. How can you get answers? By repairing the wall. Uh, either I lay a new one. There's a new line that can never be cut. There is a God of thrones on satellite up. It doesn't use the underground sea. It, uh, listen, it goes straight and comes to your house. So you can switch to that line by your faith. Then you pray the gospel. And that is Christ Jesus. I, I hope you're getting me. I'm giving you uh, ways of bringing the, the good news uh, to people. The world, the way the world is changing, we must the message should be the, the content of the message should be the same, but we should put it in a different package. If you package it the way we used to package it, it will not have the effect because the well even is repackaging things. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I've taken a time to talk about it. You know, I was joking, but. I think you understand it. You understood something, isn't it? Yes. yes. It's not something compared to go to uh, school of divinity to go and uh, no, 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 no. It's just to understand, have a personal relationship with Christ. Then you can just push it in your own language, in your own thought, but bringing the key Jesus into it. Amen. Amen. We'll take our offering. I heard someone say, oh, jump straight. <laughs> so one man offering. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ay, I would have it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll take a... <laughs>
shall we bow our head? Our Lord, you first gave to us your son who died and who resurrected. Lord, so we also sow our offering. First, our life, our bodies. Then second, our substance. O oh Lord, use this to bring souls to your house. That whatever this money will be used for will attract souls even to you. That your glory will be known. We pray, Father, those who have given, let them reap a hundredfold and a thousandfold. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. Did I promise something? No. So we will be closing very soon. We have a spiritual emphasis that will start from Tuesday 26th to Friday 29th of this month, 2024. The time is 6.30 each night. And as usual, our preachers will be the spiritual men which we've chosen. The Reverend Ampia Kofi and uh, okay. Amen. Amen. And other speakers. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> We also have a Good Friday service on the 29th March, 2024. That's at 8 a.m. Then we need to fellowship together. And we'll have Easter picnic on the 1st April, 2024 at 10 a.m. Um, don't think this is canal. Don't think Yebeko Jem Street. <laughs> Come <laughs> and you may find, bring even some unbelievers because picnic unbelievers love it. Uh, carry unbelievers and bring them around. Let them mix among us. We'll catch, uh, uh, we can get them, some of them. Amen. Amen. Invite some unbelievers and bring them. Amen. Amen. So that's a time to share. Uh, when you say, come and let's go and hear the word, they won't go. Let's go for a picnic, they will come. So use the picnic to bring them. As a hook. And when they come, Jesus will catch them. Amen. So some of you can be doing the witnessing and I see how many of you are around here? Around the, how many of you stay around this area? Great. I see a lot of souls. When this school closes, come and see souls over thousands. Let's go there. Find the time they close. When they close, spend about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and give them Christ. Share the, uh, the track to them. Invite them. Amen. This is our Jerusalem. I think Fracos. Is it Fracos? Fakosh. Fakosh. Enyefra. Say Fra Fra. 
Is it Fracos? Is it? Fracos. It's a German, uh, Spanish. And <laughs> Good. I want, especially the young men, the youth, invade the place. Give them Christ. Get them before they grow. So that when you finish growing, uh, it's difficult to, to change us. But as a child, as a youth, let's get to them. So those who are around, as I will take the office lunch, unless you win a soul before you come and eat. So we'll start this week, office. No soul, no lunch. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so shall we, uh, there are, there's a wedding. There was wedding yes, yesterday between Mr. and Mrs. Ameko. And as after sharing the grace, they will march out first, then all of us will then go. How many of you are blessed? Are you blessed? Yes. Oh, so prophet, the message is not, it's for you to work. I'm giving you tools. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Next, I'll talk about the crowns that when you win, what you get. Amen. Look at somebody's beautiful face, handsome face, wonderful face, and fearful one. <laughs> Don't tell the person who jumps straight. <laughs> Say something different from, apart from that one, I've taken the jump straight out. So what do you have? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Wonderful. So encourage the person to bring somebody next week. This week. We have life walk. Okay. They didn't put it. We have live walk this week. I hope. Is it sure? Are we sure? 20. Ah, so 21st, the match is going like that. Ah, but we started last, last yes. Wonder. Great. 23rd March 2024. We want to encourage everyone to be there because your pastor will be there. Amen. You'll come this one any mileage you can walk. You decide what you want to walk. There's a car coming. When you walk one kilometer, you say, this is my strength. Enter. You won't go to a gym. Straight. You will end with us because the car will also end. If you can go to, you can enter. So whatever your energy can carry you, you can end. We can start together and we can end. Maybe you who is in the car will even get there before us. Amen. What the first? The last shall be first and the first shall be last. So you will end. Jesus just entering, just like salvation. Some people, they will struggle. Ah, oh, salvation, what do I cry? What do I could do? Amen. So I want to encourage everyone. There will be Will they be transport? 
I think I will commit them. They will be transported. To bring you back. So, they should get transport to bring you back. Amen. Amen. Shall we look at somebody's face and let's share the grace. After that, then they will give us a song. Then they will march out. Share the grace now. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>